Ray Goon. Pretty nice uh, afternoon here. Perfect for sherbet. Some sanding. About 320 in the bucket. We'll give that a rub because uh, oh turbo for the fiesta just been messing around made another bracket for the had to, once I reclocked this to where it was going to fit that would no longer hold the uh, wastegate actuator so I made a little bracket up there that'll work all right now uh, yeah, but look, this is the paint that the guy made up for me just this last week. It's even got the formula there. He's a professional. I trust his work. Tomorrow I'm going to uh, Tomorrow I'm going to just put it on. I'm not even going to test spray it. I'm just going to put it on. But today, rub it back and uh, see if it needs a bit more bodywork or whatever. Might need a bit more filler in somewhere. So just see how straight I made it with the. Uh, I say get the old Mount Druitt metallic off it. Oh, well, I've got some high spots. And a little low spot right there. So I think if I get in behind, if I get, can get that up. A little bit and just tap them in a little uh, a little low just there I'll keep these a little tap in I'll give it another just a very thin wipe with some uh, with some filler again let's see how we go after that yeah, just a touch more and we'll uh, wipe most of that off again and yep move on yeah I think that's got it just starting to show metal there, just starting to show there, just starting to show there. I might be able to get this a little, little thing there, I'll be able to knock that down. So we've got to get the edges on it really. Cool. Yeah, that's a bit I can, you probably can't see the reflection, but. Yeah. We'll let that dry up now and uh, when it's dry, I'll give it a rub. I'd like to get it ready for so I can paint it tomorrow. Nice hot day tomorrow. Well, it's the next day, about midday, a bit after. <clears throat> I've spent another few hours bussing around with that. Mechanics, just this is why we can be, we can't be panel guys. This, this just takes too long. I haven't got the patience. But um, it's wiped down with prep sole. It's a weird thing, you know. 85 year old car and I'm banging on it with hammers and digging on it with this and that. Now it's not like it's not worth, it's not like it's worth two dollars but anyway I'll get on with uh, I'll put a bit of, put a pretty, bit of colour on, we'll hope it's close enough. I'm probably only going to go up to about here. Well, I'm just going to keep it as local as I can anyway um, and I'm go, I will go to the line up here. Now, um, Yep, let's see what happens. Well, I'll put a slight coat. Maybe we haven't got any, we've got another coat to go on yet, and um, and some clear. Yes, I did leave some blemishes. I don't want this to look like it was done yesterday. I want it to look like it was no, done a while back, like the rest of the car. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Colour, I think that's as close as you're ever going to get. I like that. We'll put, we'll put some more on if you like. <coughs> Very little over spray. Yeah. I think we'd be alright. 
Yep. That'll be fine. First coat of clear. Very light coat first up. There we go. Hey, it's not bad. That's a couple of coats of acrylic clear. That's all I have. Once it's dried up in a week or something, I'll give that a bit of a buff up, but that's not too shabby. Yeah. Where it's all hazy up there, we'll, we'll buff that all in and whatever, you know, see so if we can make that work. But uh, Yeah, you can see how far I went up to. Yeah, pull the tape, pull the paper off and maybe, I don't know, put it across the road. We'll see if we can actually see it, if it's really detectable. Well, it kind of depends where you are. But I'm back here. Oh, you can see where I've, you can see where I've, uh, where I've painted to. But it doesn't look bad. But when you get a bit closer, you start to see. When we get back on this angle here, and you can see it's quite considerably darker. But I'm yet to give it a buff off and yet to, you know, whatever and what so forth. It's still got a lot of dust and stuff all over it, so. Uh, well, yeah, we'll see what happens when it's uh, when it's dried up and I give it a bit of a rub and stuff, but it's not bad. I'll take that. Yeah, that's the sunny side. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it. But... Not too bad, really, considering. Now again, we need to uh, polish that out a little bit. Let's have a look on the uh, shady side. Well, the shady side, you can, pretty hard to tell, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's pretty close. Probably use a little white, more white pearl or something like that. When you get on the sun, like when you get to the sun, you can see that little really pearly effect there. But anyway, that'll do us for now. Put old Nan back up in the garage there. We'll give her a bit of a bit of a wash off, I think. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have yourselves a good one. Check you later.